What's up, everyone? I wanted to give you a couple of brief Sundance 2023 reviews, and I absolutely had to start with what wound up being one of my favorite of the entire festival, Talk To Me. This one was part of the Midnight lineup, and the core concept of this movie is just so incredibly right up my alley. It's about a group of teenagers who wind up with an embalmed hand that gives them the ability to become possessed at will. Now, these kids basically treat it like a drug. They get a quick high from it, and they get a quick high because if you stay connected for longer than 90 seconds, then you run the risk of the spirit demanding to stay. It's just a brilliant idea, and it's so incredibly well executed. Really just one heck of a feature debut here from Danny and Michael Filippo. I'm so impressed by the two of them. It's photographed in a way that's that's grounded, gritty, and it makes the concept feel so real. And this is one of those movies that packs the power to make you sit there and wonder, you know, what would I do it? Would I hold that hand, say, talk to me and let a spirit in? And, you know, I guess I've learned absolutely nothing from the film, but I might be kind of tempted in bringing that concept to life on screen. The makeup effects just really couldn't have been better. And also the violence and possession in this movie just plain old wouldn't work unless you have a cast that are able to sell them. And casting director Nikki Barrett really couldn't have done a better job in that respect. Going in, I was obviously very, very familiar with Miranda Otto's work, and I was looking forward to seeing her in the movie, and she does wind up being a really strong anchor of sorts, I guess, for the cast itself and for the story, too. But other than Otto, Talk To Me is filled with fresh faces, and I'm really willing to bet that we're going to see a whole lot more of them from here on out. The first one I'll highlight here is the lead of the film, Sophie Wilde, who plays Mia. Mia lost her mother, and now her dad is struggling to process his own grief, so Mia opts to spend a good deal of time out of the house, and with Miranda Otto's character's kids, there's Jade, who's played by Alexandra Jensen, and she's basically Mia's best friend, and then there's also Jade's little brother, Riley, who's played by Joe Bird, who's pretty much also like Mia's little brother as well. Wilde just has so, so much on her plate with this role from believably playing possessed to dealing with some deeply troubling personal challenges. And Wilde really does deliver so, so big, crushing it all in every single respect. Going back to uh, Bird for a second here, and I don't want to spoil anything, of course, but I do need to highlight that he's basically the centerpiece of one of the movie's most vicious set pieces. And... I really cannot express how incredibly impressed I was by his work in that particular sequence and the entire movie, but that sequence is unforgettable. In addition to Wild Bird and Jensen now, the main group of characters include some characters who don't really get as much screen time, but still manage to make one heck of an impression. And in particular in that department is Zoe Tarakis and Chris Alosio. They play Haley and Joss, and they're basically the keepers of the hand and in turn the, the leaders of all the possession sessions. It feels like it could so easily have been a situation where those two characters are simply filling that leadership role, just, just being there to serve that purpose within the group. But Alocio and Tarakas have just such undeniable screen presence and so much chemistry with everybody around them that Joss and Haley wind up becoming these magnetizing and unforgettable forces in the film. I'll jump into the score now. I'm going to give Talk To Me four and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimal Movie scale. I did feel this way about more films at Sundance 2023, but based on the order that I watched them in, Talk To Me really was the very first to to get me hyped, to make me think that we've found something special at the festival this year, and to basically have me running around telling everybody I knew to see this film. I found it to be the ideal balance of high energy, fun, catchy horror, and just enough emotional drama to, to up the stakes to make you understand where the characters are coming from and also what they could lose if they push this thing too far. It's being reported right now that A24 has snatched this one up, and I really can't imagine a better home for the film. There's really no doubt in my mind that Talk To Me will be a movie that I rewatch often and 
Also, I have no doubt at all that the Filippo brothers will have a whole lot to offer this genre going forward and beyond the genre if that is what they wish. But I got a whole lot of faith in this film and everyone who was a part of it. All right, before I let you go now, Patreon shout out times, long overdue ones for Kenneth, Kavi, James, Evan, Travis, Carol, Jared, John Gregory, MK Songbird, Andrew, Marquis, and Avery. I cannot thank you all enough for your continued support. Seriously, do know that it really does mean the world to me and make all the difference. And a big thanks to everybody out there for watching this review. If you want more Sundance reviews, just stay tuned. I got a couple others that I really want to tell you about. Mm -hmm.